हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स सो हाउ मेनी ट्रिक्स हैव वी लर्न रिसेंटली टू स्क्वायर नंबर्स आई थिंक वी हैव डन ऑल नंबर्स मे बी अ टू डिजिट नंबर अ थ्री डिजिट नंबर अ फोर डिजिट नंबर बट देर आर सम स्पेशल नंबर्स व्हिच कैन बी स्क्वायर्ड यूजिंग सम स्पेशल एंड वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रिक्स एंड दीज ट्रिक्स आर द वंस व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो वॉज द एंटायर वीडियो एंड If you have not subscribed the channel by uh, till now, you know you need to just subscribe uh, the channel by clicking the subscribe button here and click the bell-shaped icon to get the notifications. Right? Let's see the first most interesting thing. Here we have squaring fifty-one to fifty-nine. So see, the first digit is five. So I am restricting myself to these, and in my next slide, I will move on to numbers in hundreds also. Okay? So let's take. The starting number fifty one. So I want to do fifty one square. I know you must be knowing the trick which I told you in my previous videos, but this one is really really special. So what am I going to do is see five square is twenty five, right? So I'll write twenty five, and then I will add this number one to the result. So five square twenty five plus this number one gives me twenty six, and now twenty six is to be multiplied by one hundred. So I will put two zeros and then simply add this number's square. That is one square one. You will get your answer two six zero one. So at first it will look like little complicated, but I will solve five or six questions for you. Let's take. The next number in the series fifty two square. So again five square is twenty five. Add two to this, you get twenty seven. And now twenty seven is to be multiplied by hundred, so you get twenty seven hundred. And add what the square of this number four. That is two seven zero four is the square of fifty two. Likewise, you can go on and on and find all the squares up to fifty nine. So let's skip the steps now. And uh, solve it uh, in lesser amount of time. If we have fifty-three square, so I will do twenty-five plus this number three. That gives me twenty-eight. So twenty-eight followed by two zeros and three square is nine. Gives me two eight zero nine. The square fifty-four square twenty-five plus four is twenty-nine. So twenty-nine hundred. And four square is sixteen, so two nine one six is the square of fifty four. You want to skip more steps? Watch. So fifty five is pretty easy, right? Five six is thirty, so three zero two five. Now fifty six square. See, I'll skip more steps now. Okay, twenty five plus six is thirty one, followed by two zeros, and add six square thirty six. You get three one three six. See, no more steps now required, and you can actually do that. Mentally also, how about fifty-seven square? Twenty-five plus seven is thirty-two, and followed by two zeros and add what? Seven square forty-nine. It is three two four nine. Fifty-eight square. Twenty-five plus eight is thirty-three, so thirty-three hundred, and eight square is sixty-four. The answer is three three six four C. Now I am writing it virtually directly without using any steps. How about fifty-nine square? See, twenty-five plus nine is thirty-four, and nine square is eighty-one. The answer is three four eight one. So all these squares they can be found out really very very quickly, and I'm sure if you know the method, you feel more confident. Okay, so let's move on and now take up numbers from five hundred and one to five hundred and ninety-nine. So in the first question, you will see that I'll Uh, consume maybe one minute or one and a half minutes to explain the concept to you. But in the last question, which I will take up, I'll do it virtually in a maybe single line. Okay, so watch. Let's take a number like five hundred and twelve, and let's try to find the square of this number. So what will I do? I have a fixed number two hundred and fifty. Now this is the reference number, fixed number, which I have to use for finding the square of numbers between five hundred and six hundred. So 250 is a fixed number plus the excess number. So above 500, I have 12 here. 
So let's add 12 to this. So you will get 262. And now, just like in the previous case, I multiplied by 100. Now I am going to multiply 262 by 1000. And that gives me 26200. And so I have to add something to this, just like the previous case, 12 square. 12 square is 144. So 26200 plus 144 will give me my answer 262144 and that is the square of 512. So you can check using the calculators and you will find the answer very very accurate. So you have seen like so many steps there right. So slowly I am going to skip steps now and when we do the last question you will watch the magic. Let's take another number like 526 and try to find the square of this number. So I told you 250 is a fixed number. Here we have 26, so I'll add 26 to this. So I'll get 250 plus 26 is 276 and I'll multiply this by 1000. So three zeros and add what? Add the square of this number that is 26 square. So this becomes 27600 and I remember the square of 26 it is 676 and so my answer is 276676. Now again you can pick up the calculators and check 276676 is the square of 526. Let's take more numbers. How about doing 537 square? Now I need 37 square so I will be using the method the traditional method of squaring I told you by using the identity C. 250 is the fixed number plus I have to add 37 here this number so that gives me 287 and 287 triple zero plus 37 square. Now I need to find 37 square. So for finding 37 square what will I do? 3 square is 9, 7 square is 49 and then 3 7s are 21, double is 42, I will write 42 here and add vertically 9, 6, 1, 3. So 1, 3, 6, 9 is the square of 37. We have to do that very quickly, okay. So 1, 3, 6, 9 I will write here because I have to add it to 2, 8, 7, triple 0 and my answer will be 9, 6, 3, 8, 8, 2. Now you can check again. So if we increase the number beyond like 537 uh, and above, I have to do the square of this number and this should be a really quick method and the skill uh, is to be developed before taking up numbers close to 599, okay? So let's take up some higher numbers. How about taking 548 square? Now very quickly, I should do 48 square. 4 square is 16, 8 square is 64. 8 4s are 32, double is 64, so 4, 0, 1 carry means 3, 1 carry means 2. So 2, 3, 0, 4 is the square of 48. So 250 plus the number here is 48, that gives me 298 followed by 3 zeros and I have to add this 2, 3, 0, 4 to the result. That gives me 4, 0, 3, 8 plus 2, 10, 0, 1 carry, so 10, 0, 1 carry and 3. 300304 is that the square of 548 you can check now 563 square so i know that i have to do 63 square 6 square is 36 3 square is 9 so i'll write 09 6 threes are 18 so the double is 36 9 6 9 3 3 9 6 9 so 250 plus 63 is 313 three, right and 313 is to be suffixed with three zeros and then I will have to add 3969 to the result. I will get 969613. You want me to do one more or should I give you some DIYs? Let's give you some DIYs. Can you tell me in the chat the square of number 577 using this method or you can do 581, 592, I will give you 3 questions, 581 square, 592 square and tell me what is the square of these numbers you obtained through this method and how much time did you take to get to your answer for the questions, right? 
So I hope you enjoyed the trick, and now you can solve and find the squares of numbers starting with five, whether it is a two-digit number between fifty-one uh, and two fifty-nine, and uh, um, three-digit number from five zero one to five zero nine. Just try and experiment with this, and I'm sure you will be able to apply this concept to find squares of four-digit numbers starting with five. So I'm giving you a thought. Just work on that, and let me know in the comments. Does it work? So if you enjoyed this video do share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon to get all the notifications thanks for watching this and all the best